Good evening, America. I am Veronica Schmorningstone, and welcome to 5050. We have a very intriguing topic for today's show. How many of you feel like you are unable to balance your home life with your work life? Well, you are not alone. The work-life balance can significantly impact all areas of an individual's life. Due the, to the continuous demands of the workplace, employees, employees neglect other areas of their life, such as friends, family, and loved ones. We have a family struggling with this very same dilemma. Our first guest, Sammy Samuels, is, is a working mother and is no exception to this problem. Did you know that 80% of women feel a strong tear between their work life and their family? Please welcome Sammy to the show. and welcome to 5050. So tell me a little bit about your problem. Good morning, Ms. Schmorningson. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You can call me Veronica. Well, Veronica, I am the executive VP of a high-grossing world peace agency. And balancing my home and work life is incredibly difficult and is a huge concern of mine that arises daily. So tell me what a normal day is like for you. Well, I wake up at 6 a.m. and get ready before I have to take my daughter to school at 7 a.m. While she's getting ready, I make breakfast for my whole family and lunches for myself, my spouse, and my child. From there, I drop Mary Jane off at school, and I'm off to work and in my office by 8.30. I arrive at work, and my secretary lays out my very, very busy schedule. I stop in my subordinate's office and to check in on them and coach and counsel them. I start my paperwork. Every morning, I take at least half an hour to go through all my messages and all my emails. Whenever I have time, I, take, I have a quick bite to eat, and then I'm on to my afternoon appointments and meetings. It is my responsibility to ensure that my employees are performing to the best of their ability at all times. I end the day with a team meeting and consisting of my superiors and myself. I try to get out of work as early as possible and bring home work that I haven't finished during the day. I rush home to prepare dinner. I get my daughter ready for bed, finish household chores, and then start the rest of my work. If I'm lucky, I get into bed by midnight. And by the end of the day, I've hardly seen my husband or spent time with my child. I just don't know how you do it. That is quite a story. Can you believe that the majority of American families deal with this exact same situation daily? Thank you, Sammy, for sharing your story with us. And when we come back, We'll have Sammy Spouse here telling his side of the story. Oh, hey, I didn't see you over there. Do you not have enough time to get to the gym because you're too busy at work? Well, me, Michael Tuzlou, put together this workout video just for you. This video teaches you exercises such as strength training, meditation, swimming, as well as Tai Chi. If you call now in the next 10 minutes, I'll give you this video and I'll throw my yoga video with my specialty nutrition plan absolutely free. Yoga is a very popular and uh, easy way to increase your strength training, clearly, and your flexibility. My nutrition plan allows you to eat the food you crave on a daily basis and maintain a healthy diet. Don't hesitate. Call now. heart-wrenching tales of the Samuel family. I would just like to thank Sammy for sharing her side of the story. And now I would like to welcome her husband, Danny, to the show. Hi, how are you? Hi, Danny, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. So, tell us a little bit about where you work and what your position is. I'm a vice president at a financial firm. So we've heard your wife's side of the situation. And would you like to share your work-life balance? Uh, yeah. Well, it's a struggle for me, too, even though I don't talk about it as much. Uh, being a vice president requires a lot of time and energy, and uh, I would like a more flexible schedule, but due to my company's policies, they just don't allow it, and I can't do it. What type of things do you do with your family when you can have some free time? Uh, given the little time that I have uh, with them, I look forward to eating dinner with them as much as I can during the week and spending as much time as I can with my daughter. I try to go over soccer games and uh, ballet performances, but it's just hard. I'm at work a lot, so it's just hard for me to get there and spend as much time as I want to with her. Uh, when I do get out of work early, if I can, even though it's hard, I, uh, I try to help my wife with dinner. 
and uh, play with my daughter before she has to bed. We go to bed time story and just tuck her in at night. But uh, I have a hard time spending as much time as I want to with them just because I work so many hours for me. That is just absolutely terrible. The work-life balance is definitely putting a strain on your family with your spouse and your child. It seems like in today's life workforce, the balance is nearly unobtainable. We'll be right back after these short lessons. Do you have a job that's taking up more and more of your time? Is it taking away from your life at home? Do you struggle with your work-life balance? Well, have I got news for you. Here at Hogwarts, we have the answer. If you come work for us, we'll put magic into your step. If you want to spend more time with your children, no problem. We will provide you as much flexibility as you need. Programs such as working from home or shortened work days are a possibility. You can have flex which you have the ability to schedule your own hours, and job sharing, where you split the responsibilities. These and other terrific responsibilities are available, so call today, 555-555. Did you hear that? Call now. Start living the life that you deserve. After hearing both Sammy and Danny's side of the story, it seems like they are not only missing out on important years of their child's development, but they are missing time for themselves as well. Here with us now is Mary Jane, Sammy and Danny's daughter. How old are you, MJ? I'm eight and three quarters years old. What do you like to do? I really like my second grade teacher, Mrs. Pickles. Also, on Mondays and Wednesdays after school, I take ballet lessons. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I play soccer. Well, how do you get to these activities? Lots of people drive me. Um, my grandma drives me a lot. But sometimes, if she can't drive me, I go with Susie's mom. Sometimes my dad, mom or dad surprises me and gets out of work early. They work really late for them. When do you see mom and daddy? I don't see them a lot. After ballet or soccer, we eat dinner together. And then, if it's not my bedtime, sometimes I play games with that. How does this make you feel? I'm sad a lot. I wish I could see them more. Sometimes Daddy is just upset. I'm sorry, okay? Put a smile on. Oh, what? Oh my goodness, this just in. Wait, where, where are you from? There seems to be a riot going on. Where? Outside the main gate security agency, there's a riot going on. The, work si the workers seem to be protesting their unfair working conditions. We have Ron Burgundy there on the scene of the story. Ron, tell us what's going on down there. You cannot believe the uproar that the employees at main gate are causing. Standing here next to me is one of the strong employees, Yolanda. Where are you, Yolanda? There you are. What caused this uproar? What's going on here? We are not satisfied with our work-life balance. Our job takes up too much of our time that we can be spending with our friends and family and loved ones. We are demanding that our senior staff come up with a solution that fits our needs. So what provoked this? So many things, Ron. We work very long days with very little time, only getting a half an hour for lunch. And not being able to make it home to eat dinner with our families? It's just not acceptable. Our days are very demanding, being pulled in multiple directions, and our stress has built up to a breaking point. We miss our families and spouses, especially, and need more time with them. Work, life, wow. Work, life, oh, is that? That's the boss of Mandy. Over here, here's the boss. Up there, it's the boss of Mandy, Miss Deville. Let's see what she has to say. I listen closely to your concerns and realize that action needs to be taken to improve your job satisfaction. The first change being made is that half of the basement will be turned into a gym and spa facility to reduce your stressors and maintain a healthy lifestyle. The other half of the basement will be turning into a nursery facility so that you can bring your children to work and be closer to them. To spend even more time with them, we have increased your lunch to a whole hour and improved on the cafeteria selections, including kids' meal options, so that you can eat lunch with your kids too. Financial benefits will be implemented so that retirement plans, medical insurance, and bigger bonuses will occur. We hope that you all become happier, more productive employees that enjoy working here at Mangy. Wow! How do you guys feel? What a fairy tale ending. Back to you, Ms. Morningstone. Can you believe the outcome of the Main Gate riot? 
what a happy ending. Studies have shown that when workplaces take initiatives to better the work-life balance, employees become more productive and overall happy, happier employees. We hope that the places that the Samuels work take this in, into consideration and help better their work-life balance. We hope you've enjoyed today's show of 5050. And this is Veronica Morningstone signing out for today. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow.